Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hey, I'm Megan. We do crafty things here. If you like crafty things, please consider subscribing. Right now it's summer, so we've been doing a lot of friendship bracelets, but that will change as we get into the cooler months and stuff. I have plans for doing some stitching stuff, some crochet stuff, maybe some knitting stuff, Rex lace stuff, maybe just trying some new crafts altogether that I've never tried before. So if you like crafty things, please consider subscribing. But if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. And you may be going, well, this is a little bit different. We normally start the screen blank. But today, today we're gonna to try something a little bit different. So as a crafter, as some of you guys have probably gotten before too, one of the main things you get asked is, oh my gosh, you made that? How long did it take you? And the other question is, well, do you sell them? So, with, in light of making so many bracelets recently, I've been getting asked this a lot. And so, the other night I was like, well, should I sell bracelets again? Because I used to sell them. But the fact of the matter is, when you actually break it down, I wouldn't even make minimum wage on my bracelets to make them a reasonable price that people will pay. But I thought it would be fun to do a video and just how long does it take to make and challenge myself to make different bracelets as fast as I can and we could time it and see how long it takes. So I thought we would do that today. We're gonna to start with something simple because honestly, I don't know. Most of the time people ask, how long does it take to make? I'm like, Meh, I don't know, I, I just make it. <laughs> so we're gonna start with something simple. I think we're gonna do just a chevron today and we're gonna time it and see how long it takes. I'm gonna take a guess at how long I think it will take to make, and then we'll compare it and see how long it actually takes. So I guess we'll pop into my box of string here. Yes, this was the only like container that would fit string that they had at Walmart, so it is a Lore DIY container. Um, I plan to actually um, get like a pencil pouch and put it on top so I can put in progress bracelets, safety pins, and like my scissors on top there for travel so I don't have to carry everything separate. But I think we're gonna do a chevron. I think we'll do just a chevron bracelet. How many colors should we do? Should we do just five colors? Hmm. Yeah, let's do five colors. Five colors? Yeah, we'll do five colors. What colors should we do though? There, I actually kind of like that. Okay, we'll do these five colors. So I've got a pale yellow. Hopefully it's not washing out too much, but I got pale yellow, a bright yellow, this kind of muted green, a pale green. I'm sure these probably look almost the exact same side by side. And then this kind of, um, corally red color. Okay. So I have my strings set up here. I'm trying to anchor with tape. We'll see how well this goes. I've taped it to my journal because it wasn't taping well to the textured surface of the table. And I have a phone here ready to start our timer. I estimate this is probably gonna take, start to finish, about 45 minutes. From this point to tying off the braid at the end, I think it's gonna take about 45 minutes to an hour. Maybe closer to 45 minutes. That's what I think, so we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna see, and at the end we can see how close I was in my thought process of how long it's actually going to take to make. So, here we go. Do you guys ever try to do something fast and then it's like all of a sudden your fingers don't know what they're doing? I feel like that's what's happening right now. And this is really weird being anchored to tape. So I'm trying not to pull too hard because I feel like this loop is going to pop out from under the tape if I do pull as hard as I normally do, which is making things even more awkward. So 
So how is everyone's summer vacations going? Hopefully the weather's nice where you are. We've been kind of on and off. We'll get a week of really stormy, gross weather or a few days at least, and then it gets really hot. And then it's the same thing again. Like it just keeps repeating itself, which is good for here because normally we have a lot of forest fires and this year there's been enough rain to kind of slow that down which is always good. So I just thought this could be fun because then if you guys wanted, you could time yourselves and let me know down below how long it takes you to make a chevron bracelet. And we could do this for different patterns and just compare times, see how long it takes. Cause I've been nodding for um, about 14 years, which I don't think I've ever mentioned on this channel, or if I have, it was like in passing. So I've been nodding for about 14 years. So for me, some of these basic patterns are really easy and just quick. And I just think it's interesting because, I mean, I was pretty young when I started making friendship bracelets. So to me, I never really stopped and thought about how long something took me. I just liked making them. So I don't, I can't, I have nothing to compare it to. So I think it'd be cool to just compare it to other people's. Obviously it's not a competition. You just want your work to look nice, but I am kind of interested to see if someone else did this, how long it would take them. Also, I guess I could mention, I finally started an Instagram for my bracelets, which is super exciting. I will put the name up on the screen. It's just Meg Makes Crafts. And I'm posting my crafty things there. So kind of like the videos right now, it's mostly friendship bracelets, but I feel like that could change. So if you wanna see what I'm working on and stuff, before the monthly wrap-ups come out. You could definitely pop over there and take a look at what I'm doing. Let me know what you guys are doing. We can talk, chat, it'll be fun. <laughs> so that is something new that I've done. I also just, I was starting to like bog up my personal account with a lot of friendship bracelet stuff and not necessarily just me posting like I still sometimes post that stuff over there but just like following a lot of bracelet accounts and stuff and I was like okay I feel like I should maybe uh, make an account specifically for this especially since I do this and it's not that I don't want you guys to know <laughs> my personal life but um just with the baby, I thought that was kind of weird to be posting, have complete strangers be commenting and posting about my baby, so. And I mean, to be honest, when it comes to like friendship bracelets, I feel like there's a lot of younger people who are into it and they probably don't really care, so. Okay, so far this tape is going a lot better than I thought it would because when I was taping this down, I kind of gave it a little tug and the loop started coming out from underneath the tape, which is normally my experience. So I was a little bit nervous to start. I thought we'd have a bracelet already yanked out from under it, but so far it's not too bad. I think I'm gonna do a couple more rows here and then I might uh, tape down this section here just so that it doesn't come off.
Okay, we're coming up on we just passed nine minutes and this is how much I have done. Am I second guessing my 45 minute mark? Mm, maybe a smidge. We'll see. And I thought this video would also be fun because sometimes I get comments on videos. Why don't you show making the whole bracelet? And I'm like, you do realize that the tutorial I filmed is 25 minutes to half an hour long and it's like two passes of the pattern. How long do you think it takes me to make it? Now, the being fair, I'm going much slower in a tutorial to show you guys how to do it. But I'm like, do you actually want to sit for an hour and just watch me do this? Like, if that's the case, I can just... I'll live stream myself making bracelets. You guys can tune in. But um, to me, that's just weird. I'm like, I just want to know, like, cut and dry. Show me how to do what you're telling me you're going to teach me. And that's it. Move on. That's how I am with videos. Like, I hate when there's a super, super long intro of them just talking about nonsense. I want you to say hi. I want you to tell me what the video is going to be about and then just get into it. And I hate videos that do that a lot. I try not to do that. I think there's probably a couple videos where I definitely have been a little bit longer on the intro, but What can you do? Um, what I'm finding immediately interesting is with the colors this way, it is very much the pale green and the pale yellow. Like on camera, I feel like they probably look the same, but in person, when they're split up like this and not side by side, they are actually looking very very similar in the bracelet too which is giving this kind of a different look than I expected so that's kind of interesting <sighs> 11 minutes I feel like 11 minutes 50 seconds we're almost at 12 minutes and this is all I have done what okay maybe I'm talking too much I really want to have a sip of my coffee, but I don't want to take the break from my bracelet. And I'm just pulling this book around the tabletop here as well, which is one thing I prefer about safety pins as well, is that you can pull on it, but you're not really gonna pull your couch away with it. Yes, I pin into my couch. I pin into everything. The knee of my pants, cushions, the couch, lawn chairs, everything. But yeah, I thought I'd try taping because I feel like this just looks a lot nicer and a lot cleaner. And I feel like the white balance and stuff because normally I push into or pin into a cushion when I film. And I feel like when the fabric's moving around, it makes the white balance go all weird because the fabric moves so much. So I thought this just looked, I did my July wrap up out here 
and I just thought it looked a lot cleaner. So I thought we'd come back out here. So we're gonna try taping. And that's just what we're going to do. Okay. We're 19 and a half minutes, almost 19 and a half minutes. And I feel like I'm not doing terrible. I feel like I've also slowed down. I'm gonna just push this up a bit. straw flicked and there's water on the table. So at 25 minutes, I feel like we may be a bit closer to an hour on this than I thought. Because I feel like this is coming up on half of my normal length. Not quite there. Okay, so here's what I'm noticing. As I'm getting farther out from the tape, I am pulling the journal around more. So I feel like this is kind of a catch. I feel like I work faster when I can pull the strings up from the cable, but I feel like I'm getting more movement which is going to ultimately in the long run could result in uneven knots because the journal is moving around so much. And I think the journal is moving around so much because the bracelet is so lifted, the cover is lifting up mostly is what it is. But that could just be because I pull fairly tight on my strings. Hmm. We'll just throw another piece of tape down here. Leave me some lift and see if that improves anything.
gonna stop here for a second so we can see where we're actually at at my guess. So this is how long we actually are at my guess. And just for comparison, I would consider this to be a good length bracelet. So we're almost there. Realistically, I think one more color pass actually. So I think we may be like 47 minutes. 47 minutes, that's what I'm thinking here, guys. That's actually not, I'm not too far off them. Okay, let's keep going. symmetry so because I started with the red color at the top I would like to finish with the red color at the bottom and then we'll braid off Okay, so 49 and a half minutes to knot it. And I'm just gonna do a regular braid on this. Oh, okay, this is, wow, okay. This is bad. I can feel the book drastically moving. Oh no, oh no. This is, this is where it all goes downhill, folks. No, everything is coming apart. <laughs> Feel like if I was doing this myself I'd like not on camera I'd stick my foot up on the book to hold it but I'm at the table so I can't do that okay I feel like that's a long enough tie knot it off and time 50 minutes and 30 seconds that is how long it takes to make a 10 strand chevron bracelet from start to finish. There we go. I'm actually really happy with how that turned out. Um, it's not too frumpy or anything so I'm actually um, pretty happy with that here we go guys 50 minutes 30 seconds to make a full chevron that's that's not too bad you know I guessed 45 minutes And I know I definitely slowed down in the middle of a bit. So if I had like kept up the pace, I probably could have hit that. But I think that I think that was pretty good. I think that's quite interesting. So if you guys thought this was fun, let me know and I'll try it for another pattern. Um, if you guys try this at home, let me know what time you got if you try this. I think that'd be fun to kind of compare. Anyways, until next time, guys, I will see you all then. Bye.